Francesco Petrarca, the father of humanism, famous for his works of sonnets, and whose works went on to inspire greats such as William Shakespeare. Francesco Petrarch was an Italian scholar, poet, and one of the earliest Renaissance humanists. Petrarch is often called the father of humanism. Based on his works, he became one of the major patriarchs in the 16th century for creating the model for the modern Italian language, later endorsed by the Accademia della Crusca. His sonnets were admired and imitated throughout Europe during the Renaissance, and became a model for lyrical poetry. Petrarch was born in Arezzo on July 20, 1304. At age eight, Petrarch went with his parents to Avion. He began to study law at Montpellier and subsequently at Bologna, but found the profession repugnant to his poetic temperament and to his passionate admiration for classical literature. In 1326, he returned to Avion and took minor orders, but his interest and way of life continued focused on literature. After 1333 he traveled widely, but from 1337 onwards he spent a prolonged period of time studying in seclusion at Vaucluse near Avion. There he conceived the project of his poem Africa, written in Latin. In 1341, he was crowned Poet Laureate in Rome. His later years were spent in Milan, Venice, and finally Arqua, near Padua. He held many benefices, enjoying their income, and was the correspondent of popes and kings, as well as a wide circle of scholars throughout Europe. Petrarch's Il Canzoniere, songbook, also known as Rime Sparse, Scattered Lyrics, contains madrigals, songs and sonnets in praise of his idealized love, Laura, whom he first saw in 1327. She was a married woman and refused to become his mistress. Petrarch first saw Laura at Mass of Good Friday on April 6, 1327. Since then, he followed her around for years, most times in secret. Most of Petrarch's poems were dedicated to Laura. Voi che ascoltate il rime sparse il suono, di quei sospiri on Dio nutriva il core, in sul mio primo giovenile errore, quando era in parte al tuon da quel che sono. She refused to love him back. Petrarch's Italian poetry includes the Triomphi, Triumphs, allegorical processions of triumphs of love, chastity, death, fame, time, and eternity. Among his works written in Latin are the Remedies Utriaschi Fortunai, Remedies Against Good and Evil, and the treatises De Otio Religiosorum, On the Virtue of Religious Life, and De Vita Solitaria, On the Solitary Life. Petrarch died in July 19, 1374, at age 70, leaving behind an enriched and fascinating legacy on poetry that will live on forever in the world of literature.